Hello and welcome to RimWorld. Now, as you all know, RimWorld Alpha 15 is now available for quite a while now, actually, and drugs are now a good thing, which is interesting, of course, but I feel like we should do some stuff instead. Crash Landed is always a great seed to have, but I feel like we're going to edit it slightly. First of all, you. Not the three of you, just you. So we change starting people to one. Fire sleep sickness is fine. That's good, that's good. Survival rifle and a pistol. No pet. Steel, we want to improve uh, slightly. We do want to actually survive, not just die. Because in my situation, this will be very important. Ship chunks is fine. That's also fine. One other thing I would like to add. Components, if possible. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Add an item, please. <laughs> an item. Scattered randomly. No, scattered nearby, please. Start with. Here we go. No, not elephant meat. I don't need elephant meat, that's for sure. Instead, I would like to have components and make it 20 or so. That's usually a good number. Wonderful. Next, we're going to do challenge, of course. And I think random is going to be fun, so we're going to do random. Ray, Esme, Katana, Odi, Eugene. Miksaki. That sounds like a great one to have. Let's generate this world. And I feel like the northernmost province, or at least one of them, is going to be our fun, fun stuff. What right here? Negative 41 degrees Celsius. I want fully negative, though. Is that possible? No, it is not. In that case, I think we'll be happy with this. Never is the growing period. Granite and limestone. Good amount of rainfall, of course. We do want rainfall, don't we? We do indeed. Otherwise, we could possibly put ourselves up here, which might be useful. On an island, away from people. That sounds like fun. We'll put ourselves right here. Select this site. Now, we need someone that can do everything, but also isn't terrible. Wow. This woman seems like amazing. Vol volatile is slightly concerning. Cold torrent is amazing. Green thumb is also very good. I think we'll go with her. We'll make it Francina though. And also, hey look, it's my part-time job. Anyway, Francina Jacobs. It's not how you spell it, but oh well. Perfect. We'll get right into it. I'll see you all in game. Hello and welcome to RimWorld. I said the one! Why bloody hell nonsense. Summer has arrived. It has begun, but winter is coming. And here we are. In our reasonably cold wasteland. Oh my god, look at all this. This is perfect. This is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. I think we know exactly what we're living in. This hole right here. Good. Well then, that saves me the trouble. Let's build ourselves a few things. We'll use steel for now. Actually, we can probably use wood. Ah! I'll use steel. Like this, perfect. But I will do what I will do. Because there isn't much in terms of trees, is there? Not really. I was thinking of just blocking this off right away. 275 wood. I do have enough. But is this my priority? No, it's not. No, what we need to prioritize is power. Quite a lot of it as well. Preferably an amount that will allow me to not die. Temperature, heater, please, thank you. Great. 
Great. Okay. So, Francina, no time to delay. You're going to have to start up and get working right away, please. You're wandering. Very nice of you to do that, but at the moment I feel like you need to do other things like that. Well done. She knows exactly what I'm thinking. Maybe it's because I am her and she is me. Maybe. Or I just told her what to do. Which could also be a thing, but let's not count our egg. <laughs> Bloody hell. One thing you do want to use very much so when you're in this situation is the steam geysers, because the steam geysers are actually a source of heat, which will save you a lot of temperature, um, a lot of problems at least. Uh, do we want to build it more in this direction or more in that direction? Well, if anything, we want to put it like this, don't we? Yeah, that would be useful. Or we can do it this way. Like that would be useful, I think, the best. Good, we have a battery, but not connected. Come on, Francina, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to make you do this first. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, there's not much point in making well, solar panels if you're not going to make the batteries as well. Also, thank you. Actually, enclose it at some point, maybe. Thank you. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Very nice, very nice. Let's have a look around for steel as well, which will be definitely useful in the long term. And the short term. Steel's useful any time. <laughs> any and all times of the day, we need steel. So, we don't seem to have that much of it though, which is annoying. At least easily available, we don't have much. Hmm... This is warm. Of course it's unroofed, which is a problem, but I suppose we can deal with it for now. For now. Definitely for now, because in the long term that's not going to work out at all. This will have to do. No need for powering just yet, but soon enough we will be using that as well. An easy way of using this is just making another one right next to it and slowly growing it across, which could be our own little wall by itself as well, which will be interesting. Raspberries are just random berries in general, I guess that works too. Oh come on, you can do that construction, can't you? So change that into a steel door instead of what it was before. That would be fun and good. This is still unroofed. It is still unroofed. Francina, I know you're really good at construction, but could you work on the stuff that's more important first? Thank you very much. Indoor is nice. It's actually being useful for once. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we need a ranged weapon as well. Let's get that soon. going for a walk. Well, my dear, I find this to be a great idea. But once you finish this stuff, you know, the more important things. Then we're going to get some steel out of this, which will be definitely useful. Eventually. There we go. 30 steel. Not the worst. Not the worst. I've had worse, that's for sure. Got some survival meals here. 
some more survival meals here and just generally a few survival meals as you do steel good to see always like myself some steel definitely like myself some steel we're gonna sleep on the floor for a bit that's fine had worse what was I want to do I want to make a bed the next morning but then also As much as I said we might wait on this, I do feel like it's a good idea to have it right away. We need a meal source. Well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, that's for sure. 500 wood should be enough for all this. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I would prefer this first. Thank you. And of course, roof it all at some point, maybe. <laughs> Am I being too demanding? I might be, but I don't think so. And yeah, we're already at 14 degrees, not even us having roofed it yet. Imagine how hot this thing will get once we actually actually know it's 14 degrees outside. That's why it's 14 degrees inside. Okay, I admit it might not be quite as amazing as I thought just yet, but you will see what I mean. You will see. As soon as she finally roofs this nonsense. Alright, once she finishes that, she'll probably move into doing the rest of the construction. There we go. Building roof. Now she's eating. I uh, would prefer a roof, to be honest. Thank you. Much better. Awesome. Thank you very much. And here we go. Now the temperature is going to get rising. It's going to start rising and rising. It's going to be awesome. Another thing I want to build sooner rather than later is a lot of these here. Why you ask? Well, you see, um, solar panels get less and less efficient as time goes on because of a few reasons. In this case, since we're so far north, we actually have a problem that the days become shorter and shorter. And as we all know, god damn bloody... Blech. As we all know, the shorter the day is, the less power you actually get from your uh, solar generators. And as a result, well, <laughs> we might have a problem. I should prefer this, to be honest. And how warm is this? 29 degrees, not bad. Definitely not bad. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, I'll probably cancel a few of these. We don't need that many, but you get the point. Hey, about that, could you just finish this stuff first? I didn't say wind turbine, I said the power conduit. <laughs> For crying out loud. Woman, do what I tell you. This person is ridiculous sometimes. One good thing at least is that we'll never really have to bother with, well, what's it called? Freezer, because the world is our freezer, kind of. Anyway, this is beautiful. On, nice. Growing season here now. Is it really, though? Is it really? I thought there was no growing season here. Well, I guess we all make mistakes. 
Also, let me edit this a bit. Firefighting, of course. Doctoring. At the moment, I guess no one else can do it, but I'll put it do down for now. Flicking, wardening. Actually, wardening is probably less a problem. Handling, again, not really. Cooking, number one. Instructing is level two. Hunting is level two as well. I mean, if you can't cook, then you hunt. And growing is also level one. Mining is level three. Plant cutting is, I suppose, level one as well. The rest of it is very unimportant. Well, that one's actually quite useful. Good. Um, you're definitely not idle, so please and thank you. Oh, I would prioritize this. So we don't actually waste the power coming in from that. Yeah. Or you can just make your rice plants. Fine. Oh well, better that than nothing else. 40 degrees in here, guys. 40 degrees in an area that is usually frozen. Well, I guess that's what you call nice things. And I, there's probably a better word than just saying nice things, but... But then again... Come on now, Francina. You can do this faster. No need to wait this long. You can do it. What is this? Oh, it's a birch tree. For a second I thought it was a pole. I'm like, what? Why is there a pole here? What in God's name is this? It's a pole. Well, what is a pole then? A pole is a man from Poland. You're like, what? Really? Yeah, it's quite the famous country, some say. Why is that? Because it got beat up by the Germans. And the Russians, and the French, and the Austrians, and the Prussians, who were also the Germans, and so on. Yeah, poor old Poland, I suppose. That's just the way things are. Were. Not are so much. Francina, where's a... <sighs> no, thank you. Much better. <laughs> I was gonna say. 30 degrees, very good. Very pretty, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. What I will also do is build a stockpile zone over here for more important things like, 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 like drugs and medicine and also weapons. She's cutting a pine tree. Oh, that's fair enough. I hope you enjoy cutting that pine tree. And now we're actually going to build some more. Awesome. Loving it, mate. I'm loving it. Loving your dedication. And yeah, 100% growing rate in a tundra region. Perfect. Second windmill's in, but we don't have it connected yet. Come on, Francina, you know, let's not dawdle here. Um, would not would prefer you to do this to be honest. So I'm gonna stop you as you get here. Prior is working on that. Oh my god. You have steel right here. This bloody woman. I'm talking to myself here. Ay, 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 ay. There, beautiful. That should now be connected. Good. It is. Would you believe it? Oh, so that's good. That's a good start, at least. And yeah, well, just maintain its draw. Still saves us the trouble of making a uh, heater in there as well. And a horseshoe pin. That will not finish, because why would we finish it? That just seems like a silly idea. So silly. So silly indeed. Why finish something when you could not finish it? 
and have problems later on. Ah yes, the beauty that is laziness. Now what do I want to build over here? I want to build something to house my food. That will probably do. Although I will need, uh, you know, a door to get in and out. Mostly in. Then again, if you go in, you have to come out at some point. <laughs> so what does that mean for me? Oh god, she's gonna do that stuff. Um, I'm gonna restrict you slightly, to be honest. I'm gonna make this a joy area, and then the rest of it will go into work. And then you can have a bit of joy before you go to bed as well. Uh, digging, digging, digging. A blight! Well, that's just a bloody nuisance, isn't it? Clear all food. Nice. And technically animal corpses as well, but less of a problem that one. <laughs> and just like re sow everything. Goddamn nuisance that is. Hmm. Might want to hunt one or two of these mufflers. is there to do with you? I mean, I have the hunt set up. <laughs> I have I have the hunt, and it's been set up, mate. We're ready to hunt. Make life better for us by killing poor innocent animals a few times. Alright, she's gonna eat, which is fair enough. What are you doing now? Going for a walk. A walk, you say? Just one? Why not six? Why not six, indeed? <gasps> She's hunting! There we go. Amazing skill. Hits him once. Hits him twice. Oh, it's a she? It's a she. She's committing... Murder. Murder! But she needs to survive, so... As things go, no one really minds. Let's go hunt some more. Yeah, that's fair enough. If you actually hit, that helps very much so. That's a component. Muffalo is dying! Now we carry the muffalo into the building. And then, you know, maybe build a bit? There we go. Nice. Build that butcher table. He's being chased by pirates. He's a house servant, which means he's definitely going to be able to haul. He's 53. I think we can do it. There we go. Here's Charlie. We'll call it... A Russian... <laughs> Russian Winter Wonderland. Beautiful. charlie -er. Please tell me he can do everything. He can't do intellectual, but he's amazing. Look at that. That is pretty good. He's a slowpoke, which is stupid, and he's a Cetic, which is... Oh, he doesn't like pretty bedrooms. I can arrange that. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Anyway, here's a raid. A crossbowman has arrived. In other words, it's just one guy with a slight club, which I am perfectly alright with. Don't you worry. Charlier, if you're going to be that fatty, you might want to equip a pistol and actually help out in my... Dearest, a quest to kill this poor man that is trying to attack me. And then we'll end the episode there. Oh, perfect. Already done. Strip him. 
take his weapons and enjoy. So that was that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and the Russian Winter Wonderland will continue next time.